What to do everybody, I wear ears here and you're watching games, 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 or like the cool kids say, G to the three. Now it is Tuesday and instead of two for Tuesday, like usual, we are actually going to be taking a look at Grand Theft Auto 5. Yes, for the rest of the week it will all be Grand Theft Auto videos in anticipation for Grand Theft Auto Online. In today's episode we are taking a, another look at GTA 5. Um, in the previous episode, we were uh, having to fill in for JB. He is a tow truck operator. We had to go and get a car back. Uh, I had a little difficulty, uh, but I figured out what I was doing wrong and was able to fix it. So it wasn't too long of a let's play, but it was definitely enjoyable all the same. Um, I am still in my first experience with this game. I've just been continuing on with all of these episodes, and I'm really enjoying it. The detail in this game, the subtle things, are what I'm enjoying and eating up the most. Like when you turn off your car, you still hear that crackle, uh, that, that little sputter as well. Also, um, just like little things of a trickle of water down down the side of a hill even though it is garbage like literally like the water was garbage from water was leading to a porta potty it wasn't too great um the driving mechanics have gotten so much better and the fact that it takes place in an area identical basically to los angeles is like just a, a in my book as it is Ooh. Almost took that off. It looks like we might be by, or like on the four or five. Is this like Irvine? Is this the Spectrum? That reminds me of like the Irvine Spectrum uh, pillar that changes colors. Oh no, we are by the airport. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I I think I've flown into. Actually, I've flown out of LAX going to New York, and then I've flown from Sacramento into LA. And that was my only experience with LAX, so I guess I didn't recognize that pillar! Oh, wow. Uh, the acceleration in this game on your vehicles are just crazy. Um, you do have your own unique vehicle for each character. Um, and each character has their own unique abilities, and I guess Michael is known for his skills in driving. He also is able to slow down time, which I found out on accident by pushing one of the buttons. If I were to do it right now, I would not be able to tell you what that button was, though. <laughs> uh, it looks like the sun is coming up. It is very early in the morning. And even though this is an industrial area, like that shot just looks amazing. Oh wow, that looks great. Like with the bridge. Oh, I can just get this game all day. I wish I could live in here. And I think I will have the opportunity to live in this world once Grand Theft Auto Online does come out. Um, it is basically the multiplayer version of Grand Theft Auto that we have come to know and love. But uh, it's going to be way more expanded. You will actually be able to get your own apartment and such. Um... Oh, that was convenient. So, uh, you're also able to start up things like a gang. So, if you want to go ahead and be part of my gang, you can join in and add me on Xbox. My gamer tag is going to be I Wear Ears. So, you can go ahead and find me there. If you'd like to go ahead and like my, fa my Facebook page, or um, if you're on Twitter, you can go ahead and find me by searching I Wear Ears Games. That's G A M E S. Oop. Really took out that corner a little too quickly. Um, I should probably pull over. Ooh. Gonna go ahead. Uh, ooh, who's getting out? His bid's almost done. We're gonna haul at you, dog. Let's call Lamar and see what's going on. Lamar, where you at? This your boy LD. Long dick. <laughs> oh, wow. Lamar is interesting. Ooh, let's see. Um, I don't know why I'm writing you, but trust me, it's not because secretly I want to get back together. Okay, so it's my ex. 
I don't, not now, not ever. You are who you are, and that is that. I waited and I waited and nothing changed, and now I'm seeing someone else. I'm finally happy. Yeah, right, you don't know me. Uh, after all, I went through my brother passing. Oh, shout out to your brother. Uh, I knew that life, you live hateful. Ugh. I ain't got the strength, don't want it, blah blah blah, you'll always be my friend. T, Tanisha. Pick a response. Uh, don't say that. Do I get a, a do I get to choose a different response? Or? Um. Or. Did I respond to it? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's go back to my phone book and we will see. Well, let's go up on the blimp. Um, as part of the pre-order for Grand Theft Auto, you are able to get. Blimp services. How can I help you? Hey, I need a blimp right now. I have one available right now. Are you serious? Drop it off as soon as possible. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, there's my blimp on the map, but where's my actual blimp? Uh, as part of a pre-order bonus for Grand Theft Auto, uh, you were able to get the blimp. So, it says that you need to skydive or fly up to actually get into the blimp, but since it was in my phone, I thought I was... What was that? Oh, wow. I thought that was uh, just going to be able to land <laughs> for some reason and be able to pick me up, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. Let's go ahead and pull our phone back out. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see if we have any jobs we can do. It is 6 in the morning, so I don't know. Hello, friend. I cannot pick up the phone. Uh -oh. I will call you back sometime. Yes? Let's go ahead and take a look around. Um, the first two episodes we went through and just basically uh, were able to check out a couple of the missions. We definitely were welcome to Los Santos properly. Um, we had a little bit of an interaction with Michael and Trevor in the beginning of the game. And uh, now, was it Michael? Uh, yeah. Michael and Trevor in the beginning of the game, and now we are playing as Franklin. I think I said Michael in the beginning of this video. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So I think we're going to take a break from... Ooh, my bad. Uh, we're going to take a break from those missions, and we're going to go ahead and go into just a little bit of open world madness and see what this place has to... Oh, offer! There's my blimp in the distance. If you can see it up there. Ooh, there's a cop back there. Ah, uh, let's see. Ooh. You gotta roll. We up for each other. You gotta understand. Ooh, I need to pull over before I'm trying to read this. It looks, looks like a good place to pull over. Let's see what this drama is unfolding. No, you got it wrong. We met for each other. You gotta understand there's always a cost, and the cost to the choices you made is you and me. No going back, like I said. Please. Oh wow, it even has like what we said before. Hey, how do you choose the other? Alright, there we go. Alright, so we responded. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess we can keep going. I'm loving how detailed this game is. I know I've said it a million times before, but the more I keep going and the more I see just such variation in the area, it just is amazing. Um, I enjoy GTA 4. I didn't finish it, um, but uh, I did enjoy it. Uh, the one downside to it is kind of the downside Saints Row 4 has to it right now, and is that it's just kind of a dark environment. It's not something you really want to stay in too long. It's really gray and bland. Uh, not too exciting. Right here, like, obviously over here there's, like, a 
a blue teal, and that would have never been in GTA 4, I don't think. That's another reason why I don't like the East Coast and why Los Angeles is, my, is my favorite city. I can go ahead and put my... Whoa. Put my phone away. Before I get into another accident. Uh, let's see. This map is just huge. Like I, like, I can drive to one end of it. I haven't even attempted to try, nor do I even know how to get to the other end of the map. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can just go into a convenience store. Oh, sh If it wasn't for that siren. <laughs> That's so cool. If it wasn't for that siren, that would show and see if we can hear the engine sputtering. Can we go in here? Bust. No, but he's just broken. Oh, we are in LA, right? So LA has West Hollywood. That's what this video is going to be about. We are going to be on the quest for West Hollywood in Los Angeles. Okay. Um, now I did live in LA for a little bit of time in my adult life. Uh, miss it entirely um let's see if i can remember how to get there from here in a virtual recreation of los angeles it is not an exact recreation it is just something to resemble so they have everything in la so far so i don't understand why they wouldn't put a whole district or neighborhood especially west hollywood Uh, we did just pass a building that looked like the Capitol Records um, a few minutes ago, which I thought was pretty cool. So shut up. Move. Whoops. Don't get crazy. Let's see. Um. Is this? No, this isn't it. Ooh, that car is beautiful. Not mine, but that red one that I almost crashed into. Alright. Ah! Whoa, whoa. Ah! 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 Skill. Okay. This does not look like where West Hollywood would be. There are palm trees. Um, again with my parking. Let's go ahead and look on a map. <laughs> yeah. About that. What is this? What's this? Is that the movie studio? Is that a movie studio? Because uh, in the beginning, oh, it's a movie theater. Oh. Uh, let's see. I don't think I would ever be able to find a West Hollywood, even though I said that was the point of this. Let's go ahead and check out this movie theater. Now, I hear that um, you're able to go in if once you get the trio of guys, once you get Michael and Trevor with you. You're able to go into this movie theater and uh, watch these funny movies and kind of mock it like Mystery Science Theater 3000 does. Um, I am by myself, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm almost tempted to park it here just to see what happens when I come back. But I'd be pissed if my car got towed or I got a ticket. You know what? I'm going to park it right here and see what happens. I'm going to risk it because my car is already messed up as it is. Um. Oh, here you can hear it sputtering. Shh, go away. Ugh, everybody driving. Oh, you can kind of hear it sputtering. I'm not going to waste my time. Go ahead and start running. What are you looking at, crazy? Um, I thought there was a movie theater around here. 
Uh, ew. Oh, this is just beautiful. It's such a beautiful area. The detail, like the cracks in the cement, and like even as you get closer or further away, the detail stays the same. Oh, here's the movie theater. What's playing? Is that a panda? Oh my goodness, I hope that is a panda. I love pandas. Oh, there's an ATM. Um, those are gonna be useful once Grand Theft Auto Online comes in. Because you'll be able to carry. Uh, you'll be able to carry cash around with you, but once you get killed, people can swipe your wallet. And uh, if they swipe your wallet, they can take all your cash. So uh, you have to go to ATMs and deposit it. Okay, let's see. It looks like a dog. Fred's pictures. Oh wow. Fred's pictures. How they present. The sad robot. Oh, the loneliest robot in Great Britain. So specific. I filmed by S. Louise Crawford. Oh, whenever I hear Crawford, I think of Mother Joan Crawford, which is funny. This looks like almost Bioshock Infinite, like, but with the lonely robot. Yep, there's Fink Manufacturing. Shout out to Fink. Oh wow, this is great. So, um, if you're enjoying this episode so far, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, because I do plan on having way more parts of Grand Theft Auto V to come out, as well as other series. Um, I do a whole bunch of other Let's Plays that are definitely worthwhile. You should definitely take a gander at. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button while we're checking out the loneliest robot in Great Britain. I'm surprised at how much animation and there's actual like dialogue and everything. Um, I'm able to look around. I can zoom up. Look at that. That's a pretty crazy zoom. Let's see. Is that Huey Herman? the hat? No, that's not. Uh, uh let's see. Oh, look at you with the little robot girlfriend. But, uh, speaking of series, tomorrow is actually gonna be Fail Friday, and that is my series in which I play a game in which I'm not very good at. So, that totally results in hilarity. Um, I have my moments of greatness, but then they are depleted very quickly once I get shot in the head. Most likely during my victory, that always seems to happen, I'm starting to get a little too cocky and BAM! Oh, there's a headshot. So you should definitely go ahead and check that out. So far I have Spies vs. Mercs, um, that's a pretty good series. You should go ahead and take another gander at that while you're at it. Just not right now, not while we're watching The Loneliest Robot in Great Britain, which is about five minutes longer than I expected it to be. He is shaving his butt. Oh my god. Oh my god. When I, I far, we gotta go. <laughs> Once I start paying attention to the movie, they start shaving butt. Look at that. Did not look like it. There was a panda on this on this movie poster, and that that was no panda. Oh, where's my car? Okay, let's see what happened. Move! Oh, I wish I could do that sometimes in real life. Like, move! It's like, ugh, get out of my way! Ugh, I parked in the red zone, so my car is still here. Do I have a ticket? Aw, oh, man. I was kind of hoping something would have happened, like, uh... Did my car start? Oh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see what else this world has to offer. Go ahead and check the map. Uh, anything fun? Customs? Go to the barber shop. Let's go to the barber shop. I have been getting a lot of flack for my long hair. Let's go ahead and get them edges cleaned up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's got a horde. Move! 
Uh, these streets aren't uh, as confusing to navigate through as they were in Liberty City. I'm not sure if it's because there aren't like bridge posts every five feet, but I find it a lot easier to navigate through. It looks like we are in like the Beverly Hills or Dayo Drive area. And they're totally gonna look at me funny when I walk in there and try to get this Afro Puff taken care of. We'll get a hot press. We'll get BM. Bob Mule. Oh goodness. Look we'll at your boots. Uh, did I come in the right place? Word. Oh well. I don't think I came to the right place. But it is very detailed in letting me know. Hi girl. Hey girl. Hey. Alright, let's go see. Do I need to make an appointment? Do you take walk in? Hey girl. Hey. I wonder if I can shoot this place up. <sighs> He's gonna Sweeney Todd me with those scissors. Uh, let's see. I only have three hundred dollars. You could blow me. You give me a blowout. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, that's a Jackson Five. Ooh, you do me up right. Oh my gosh, that's like I am. Bash of fear. Um, I got $300. What'll that get me? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, I don't want to go around. Look at my patient zero. Here, alright. People have been giving me flack on my hair. So we're gonna go ahead and blow it out. Uh, excuse you? You don't know me like that? Why are you doing clippers if I'm getting a blowout? And why didn't I hear a... Um, a blow dryer. Oh, He's like, I don't even know what to do. I'm so scared of this place. Ooh. Look at me. I'm looking fine. I'm looking fine. Is that my car? Yeah, that's my car. I didn't think it was mine because it looks kind of nice from a distance. But, uh, yeah, I realized it was my car. It's killing me not to turn on the radio, but I don't want all this third-party content nonsense popping up, so. Hey, girl, hey! I don't want all this third-party content nonsense popping up, so I keep the radio off! Oh, uh, shut up! Lick my butt. Um... What was this, like, uh, the... Like, the strip? Or not the strip, but... Yeah, um, downtown, not downtown, but Sunset Boulevard, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, I'm loving just driving around, not having to do anything. Ooh, anything but not. Oh my god, did you just see that? I did not tag one car. Oh, wow, I am. Oh, wait, is that the blimp? Yep, there's my blimp. Now how do I get to that? I have to get up there somehow. That I think is gonna be my objective throughout this series. Get to the blimp. Now I know I said I was gonna try and make that my objective for the episode was to get to West Hollywood, but at least I know the blimp is feasible. It just has to progress throughout the story enough for me to be able to get something to fly. See, now, this map expands, obviously, throughout, like, the Los Santos area, but it also goes out into countryside and partial desert into, like, the Blaine County area. So, I have not even stepped my hoof into that territory yet. So, I can only imagine what's coming up. Is that a movie studio? Is it? It looks like it. There's a water tower. There's 
yeah okay we're gonna go ahead and take a little look around here and then um i think we'll call it a day but we'll go ahead and take a look what is this richard's majestic this actually looks like paramount which is in culliver city this is probably made to look like warner brothers but a little bit about paramount is that it actually used to be Ooh, it used to be oh my god security's after me i thought i could just come on here and like take a peek sneaky peeks oh my god now i am running through sets this is like la noir also made by rockstar oh wow this is really really cool i just wish i wasn't getting chased by cops and security oh my god please don't be a fake set please don't be a fake set okay this technique is called force perspective Oh my god! Um... I don't remember what I was saying before I was running. Okay, uh... Uh... Paramount Studios used to be... Lucille Ball... Well, Lucille Ball Studio. Which before that used to be RKO. And RKO used to distribute a lot of Disney's earlier films like Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, uh, a lot of the animated films like that. Uh, once they went out, uh, Lucio Ball bought the company and uh, turned it in. Uh, what? Ooh, oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. If I make it out of this, I'm gonna be so surprised. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Get up! Get up, Franklin! Get up! I just have to make it back to my car and then I know I can get out of here alive. Oh, for real? You gonna do me like that? Get up on it, Franklin! Franklin, get up on it! Aw, oh, hell. Okay. So that's a little bit of... <laughs> history kind of on a uh, paramount. Can I get over this fence at least? Yes! Go, go, go! Go, 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 Franklin, go! I just have to get to my car. Aw, shoot. No, no, no. Aw, man! Wasted. See, now I totally thought I was going to make it. Uh. So that was my first time actually being killed in this game. Um, I hear you have insurance that you have to pay in order to come back from the hospital. Let's see what happens. Oh, Mount Zona. Looking up oh, 15 bucks, $15 copay. Looks like he got some good one. Good, good insurance. There, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and Oh, I got another email. And I'm here for you as a friend. I'm blah, 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 blah. Alright, I'm tired of playing all these little, these little games. Ain't nobody got the time for that. Halt! I am Reptar. Aha, uh -huh, you got jacked. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got our hair blown out. We got our brains blown out. And we set an objective for ourselves in the series, which is to get up onto the blimp. I think that is a pretty successful episode. We've even wreaked some havoc, took a little tour of Los Santos. Yeah, this has been a really good episode so far. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to call it quits. Ooh, let me get up on this median, just in case they're not after me. Yeah, they weren't after me. <laughs> well, that was a close one, considering I just stole this car. But we have reached the end of this episode, so be sure to check out the next part coming out soon. I hope you've had as much fun as I've had playing it for you. So please be sure to like, comment, 
share, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. Again, I am I wear ears, and this has been G to the three. Now we'll see you later. Bye.